Um, wow, I've been putting this video off for a long time because, you know, uh, the last couple weeks, I mean, the last week has been very, very, very difficult for me to comprehend. Um, Kobe, to me, is not only my favorite basketball player by far of all time. Kobe Bryant is my favorite athlete of all time. Kobe Bryant is not only my favorite athlete of all time. Kobe Bryant is my favorite celebrity ever. Like, by far. It's not even close. Kobe... Kobe Bryant was someone who I I saw my you know he's someone who I related to so much being an introvert being back to himself and in that way I was like Kobe but with my life, how my life is going right now, I'm bullshit. And I need to get my shit together. And I need to take on the mumble mentality. I've been a fan of his all this time. And I have not been going by the mumble mentality. I've been bullshit and I've been settling. And that this year, 2020, Kobe Bryant passed. It's for the end. I'm 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 going hard, but enough of that. Um I started watching basketball because of Kobe Bryant. 1999, the lockout season. That's the first year I started watching watching the game. Um, and Kobe was on the come up. That's the first year that he showed that, like, 98, Jordan's last year, Kobe, he was in the all-star game and everything, and he had the big, the big um the big the duo with the duo with Jordan. But 99 was the first year that, that motherfucker started busting niggas ass and showing that he was an elite player. Um and it's been so many different co like when he first came out of high school, he was like he was kind of brash. But kind of humble at the same time. He had a lot of, you know, he had a lot. He just, the world was in front of him. But as they started to win championships, he started to get cocky. Kobe got very cocky. And a lot of people, especially in the black community, they didn't like him. They thought he felt like he was better than other people. Um, And then the Shaq feud happened. Shaq run out of town. And you seen a very bitter Kobe Bryant. Kobe became very bitter. He went through the legal troubles with the girl who accused him of rape. He went, like, falsely accused him, in my opinion. But we ain't going to talk about that. Um, he, he Kobe was very bitter. You can tell he just, the way he talked, the way he carried himself. He was a very bitter person. And... Then the success came back, 08, 09, 2010, to, you know. But it was like, I'm going to say 2012, 2013-ish, when you really, 2011, 12, 13, when you really saw him try to open up as a person and start hanging with LeBron and taking pictures with LeBron and Melo and Chris Paul and D-Wade and got guys like that when he was on the Olympic team, the second team, that's when he really – when Westbrook and Durant, because it was different for Kobe, because when Westbrook and Durant and Harden came to the league, they looked up to him, and he was like, holy shit, like, it wasn't like everybody against Kobe hit the way it was um, 2002, 2003, 2004, all those years, it was different, it was like, damn, these guys look up to me, I can't believe that they look up to me like Michael Jordan, like the way I looked up to Mike, and it was different for me, you start, saw him try to open up. And he went through the retire the, the 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 down years after the injury Achilles injury, and all that. 
Oh, excuse me, oh, excuse me. Um, and then he he went to retirement, and he got his fucking flowers. I, that's one thing I can say. Kobe, people hated on him, and people, you know, in arguments. But for the most part, people. That's the one thing that not people don't regret because everybody gave Kobe his fucking flowers. Um, he had the retirement tour. He retired. He gets his jersey. Um, retired. Two jersey numbers. Nobody ever did that, and probably ever will get two jerseys. Retired by one team. He wins an Academy Award. Kobe Bryant wins a fucking Oscar for Dear Basketball. And he just seen he had the best retirement out of any athlete in the history of sports. Every Kobe had the best retirement. Beautiful family. Everything going right. And then, you know, the helicopter crash. And when this shit first happened, the shit is happened. Though. They say the crash happened 930. Okay, that happened not last Sunday. The Super Bowl Sunday would just, ha just happened Sunday. And it's Tuesday, uh, technically, Tuesday, 2 o'clock in the, in the morning, 2.17 two Tuesday morning. Not, I'm talking about the Sunday before that, which was R Royal Rumble Sunday. I'm getting ready for the Royal Rumble. And I'm watching all the Royal Rumbles that, um, I'm watching all the Royal Rumbles that, like, uh, like that I've, that I've never seen. Because I, I've seen uh, Royal Rumble 1 through, like, Eight, when it was the first Royal Rumble? 87 through 88, 88. I've seen 88 through like 2000 and two. So I watched um, like 2003 all the way to 2019. Like I just, I've seen 2019 and 2018, 2017, 2016. I've gotten back in wrestling. So like 20, maybe 2012. So I'm watching all of them. And I just went on and watched all of them through, the rest through. And I'm not looking at TV. I'm on my fire stick and I'm looking at WWE Network. The, and I got, I didn't get up in the morning till like 11. And I didn't look at my phone, nothing. I just, WWE, boom. I'm, I'm ready for the rumble. I'm not looking at no notices and then on my phone. Something I don't. It's always something. Something in me said, "Look at the Pro Bowl," because the Pro Bowl was on too. I never look at the Pro Bowl. Never. I've never looked at the Pro Bowl. Um, well, I looked at the Pro Bowl, but it was probably like years ago when Sean Taylor was still alive. When Sean Taylor hit somebody so hard, boom! Like I used to look at it then, but I haven't looked at the Pro Bowl. And I, some told me, "Look at the Pro Bowl." I put my, I get my phone. I'm not, I don't open Twitter or anything. I get my phone. I put my earbuds in. And I, and I get on the NFL app. And uh, time I put my earbuds in and click that little the little speaker uh, icon. Boom. And it says, and it, I, I, I don't know the exact words that they said, but it said, and, and once again, if you're just tuning in, the shocking, tragic, News, a helicopter. What is this? Is the shocking news of the death of Laker legend. And they said, when they said death of Laker legend, the first person who came to my head was Magic or Kareem. I was like, oh my God. And it took them a while to say Kobe Bryant. And they said, I'm thinking, damn, Magic, something happened to Magic. Fuck! I was like, Magic, oh. The AIDS fine, and I hate to think like this, but I was like, damn, the HIV finally caught up with magic. And when they said Kobe Bryant, I was like, what? Kobe, that shit. And I tell you, God is my witness. 
not the feeling that I had, and I'm not trying to cap or nothing. I swear to God, I'm not trying to cap. I have not felt that feeling when they said Kobe Bryant. I have not felt that feeling since November 26, 2009, in the morning when I woke up and my father told me that my mom passed away. I swear to God, I have not felt that feeling since then. And my aunt, I've had aunts that didn't pass. My uncle Charles, who I was very close to, he passed. My cousin, who's the same age as my brother, passed. They were born like a day apart. They were close, and I was kind of close to him. Um, my cat died right in front of me. And I have not felt that feeling till I heard that shit. And that shit fucking hurt. And I just, I, I cried. And then they had the tributes. But you know what made me feel better? The fucking love that the world showed Kobe. The fucking outpouring that the world showed this man. Bigger than Michael Jackson. The out, I've never seen this outpour since maybe when JFK Jr. died. And I was a kid. I was a squirt when JFK Jr. died. And when Princess Diana died. I was like a minute. I don't even remember Diana's death. That was 97, I born in 92, so I wasn't even five then. I was like four, I don't remember that. But I remember JFK Jr. when he died, I remember that. And this might even be bigger than, this shit, fuck you. And it, and it mirrored his death because it's the same type of thing. But Kobe wasn't flying the thing himself. And Kobe used to always take those helicopters, man. And that shit hurt. But I'm telling you this right here. Lakers got to win this year. Lakers got to win that championship. They got to bring it home for Kobe, man. Um, but rest in peace, Kobe. I had to speak my... I had to just make a video. I just felt like this video is kind of pointless because I ain't tell you nothing you ain't know. But I had, to, I had to make a video for my man. That's my favorite basketball player. My favorite athlete ever. One of my favorite people ever. I never got to meet him. Never even was in the same room. Never even got to see him play. I didn't get to see him play. I did get to see him play. Uh, I forget that. Atlanta. It was Atlanta. They played in Atlanta. What was it like? 2012? I didn't get to see Kobe. God, I'm so, I'm so blessed to have seen that. But, man. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Gianna. Rest in peace to the to the to the other families on the plane on the helicopter. Rest in peace to the pilot who also flew Kawhi Leonard all the time. Used to fly, used to be flying Kobe, drop Kobe off. I'm go, okay, Kobe. I'm gonna pick Kawhi up. Kobe would tell him, "Hey, tell Kawhi what's up, what's up." Okay, or vice versa. I'm about to go pick Kawhi up now, Kobe. All right, I'm about to pick Kobe up now. Kawhi tell Kobe, "Hey, yo, tell Kobe I said what's up." Used to pick Kawhi Leonard could have died. Kawhi Leonard could have been like And I'm a Laker fan. I don't like the Clippers, but I'm I'm a I'm a Kawhi Leonard fan. Like I like Kawhi Leonard. Like, he's one of my favorite players. But I'm rambling. Enough rambling. Till next time, man. Dre the Dunn. Peace. Rest in peace, Kobe. Rest in peace, Gianna. GG. And G. Gigi, that's just a whole nother video, man. She has so much potential to change the face of women's basketball, women's sports, and all that. Her, her death is even sadder than Kobe's. Rest in peace, Gigi. Rest in peace, Kobe. Till next time, Dreaded Dre Don, I'm out.